Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, well, today I'm going to give you a little peek at what I have in the Naughty Bucket. I had a couple of um, subscribers that were interested in what was in the Naughty Bucket. You know, I've, the last couple of videos I made, I, I pulled a, a couple of locks out of the Naughty Bucket and uh, finally got them open. And, uh, well, they were interested in what I had in there, and, well, I, I figured, well, I'll just show you what I have in the Naughty Bucket. And it's not a lot either. Um, but I will show you. First up, um, we have this kick cylinder, and this is from West Coast Picks. And this was from my first lock trade I had with him. I had two lock trades with him, so this has been in there for a while. Um, I can't figure out why I can't get this open. It has nothing to do with the keyway or anything. I just am not getting a lot of feeling out of this lock for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and I actually talked to uh, Harley about this lock to figure out what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to unmummy the key, open it up, you know, look at the pins, show you guys the pins and see why I couldn't get it open and then just pass it on, give somebody else a chance to open it. Um, for some reason I just can't get this lock open. I have no clue why. So that's been in there the longest. Uh, and then second up, we have this Double Trouble from pick me 1977 and I'm having a lot of trouble with just tensioning this lock um, so it's not giving me much of a chance to pick at it I tried getting this on video twice when I um, basically when I first got it I did pick open the um, you know the little combination lock that's really nothing I can't remember the combination but I had that open that was nothing uh, but f trying to tension this lock I'm having so much trouble with it I just can't figure out what to do even a couple of days ago I tried again because I'm trying to work on the, the locks I had in the naughty bucket I took this um, like probably in 60 maybe 70 thousandths this is one of the Z tension wrenches from the um, the assorted tension wrench set that you get from Banggood for dimple locks and um, I thought this would be perfect but it just will not oops sorry it just will not grab this keyway like wants to slip so I'm not sure if I can try to use this. I'm thinking I might try it, but I think I'm going to try to make another one. And if I do get a good wrench that's going to fit in this lock, it's going to travel with this lock because that's been my biggest problem with this one, just getting it to tension. Um, so that's number two. Number three, we have the new edition, and that is from Den Brass. This is my last trade. This is an Ilko. And, um, well, you could look at that keyway. That is, well, that's probably the most paracentric keyway I've worked with. I, it is the most paracentric key, uh, keyway I've tried to pick. you got to go around this warding, because the key pins are, like, sitting right on that warding there. So you got to go around it and then try to get up. And I just can't find a pick that I'm, I'm comfortable with picking this lock with. So, then brass, it might be a little while before I get that one picked, too. Um... So that's basically it, guys. What I have for challenge locks that I know of that is definitely challenge locks in my naughty bucket. I do have one more here that I got from Lock Noob. This is a, well, it's another Euro, and um, it's a six pin. And I thought this would be a stock lock, and then I was having a lot of trouble with it, but I'm going to get my flashlight here. You can see that six pin, that is definitely a serrated pin. So I'm pretty sure this is probably another challenge lock. Lock Noob, if you know who who pinned this up or if you pinned it up yourself, um, yeah, I would really like to know. Um, yeah. So that's another one that I think is a possible uh, challenge lock. So that that is basically what I have for challenge locks. I have a, a couple of stock locks here that I'm uh, working on. And that is this GG that I got from eBay. I cut it in half. It was a full one. Um, I gave Randy half of it. I kept half and yeah, I'm having trouble with this one. This is a bidding on a key so it's got a really good bidding on it for sure. But I've gotten this one to some, you know, pretty good false sets but I have not got it open yet. So I'm working on that one. And then we have this Lockwood from Pick Me 1977 that I won in his 300th video. I have some trouble with this one too. It is a Lockwood, so these aren't easy locks to begin with. Um, that is a bidding on this one too. Another really nice bidding. 
So I, I haven't ha played with this a whole lot, but um, I have tried it a couple times. So I'm considering it in a naughty bucket because I haven't got it open. And then we have this multi-lock, dimple lock, um, pad lock here. It's huge to look at the size of that shackle. This is a loaner from Trekmaster30. Um, I could get this to some decent falsets, but I can't get it to the deep one that I need to get it to to pick the inner pins. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with this, and Trek Master, if he doesn't mind, I will keep it a little bit longer. And hopefully I could get this up on video for you guys. And Yeah, so <clears throat> that's my naughty bucket. And uh, yeah, pretty much with that said, um, like I said, I don't have any more challenge locks, but I do have a lot of challenge locks that I have already picked. Um... And I want to do a lock trade. I have a lock, uh, you know, I have a lock trade this week with somebody new that I've never lock traded with, and that's Chris Aaron's. Um, so I'm grateful for that. But I want to do another lock trade with. Well, I want to try to get somebody new that I've not traded with yet. So, if you have a picking channel, you have to have a picking channel. If you have a picking channel, and you want to trade locks with me, I have a lot of challenge locks here. I have a couple more actually that I'm, I'm, I still need to put together and I'm going to make some of my own. None of these are mine. These are other pickers. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Sorry about that. But I have a, I have quite a few uh, challenge locks here that I would like to, well, I want to get them out there. I mean, I, they're sitting in my drawer doing nothing. I'm going to get these out there, get them up on somebody else's channel and let them pick them and have fun with them. And I would like to have fun with their locks. So, yeah, guys. If you're interested in a lock trade, send me a PM. If you're having trouble with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave my um, I'm gonna leave my email address in the description below. And, you know, if you have trouble, try to PM me. And, um, you know, I have some subs that, that are sending me locks. If, if You know, they're pinning them up themselves. Sending me locks. I'm grateful for that, you know. If, uh, you know, any of my other subs, if you want to, if you have a lock that you've pinned up and you want to see it picked on my channel, you know, I would gladly pick it for you and I will send it out into the community. That's how this works, guys. But, um, yeah, that's what I have to offer, a bunch of locks to somebody that wants to make a lock trade with me. So, well, if you enjoyed this video, enjoyed watching uh, or taking a peek into my naughty bucket, um, hit the like button if you have any questions or comments. Comment below and yeah, everybody, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.